What's up you guys? Welcome back to another video, another vlog. As you can see, this is a vlog from my trip to Korea, which I did take almost a year ago. It took me a whole year to get this video edited. I didn't even think that I had enough footage to make a week in Korea, week in Seoul vlog, but it turns out I have more than enough. I think this is gonna be a pretty long one. Figured why not just share it now because I did recently take a trip to Asia. I was there for a whole month and that's kind of what my content will be for the next couple of videos. Got some more travel content coming. This was my first time visiting South Korea. I went with my mom and we went for two weeks. The first week we spent in Daegu and Jeju. The second week, which is this vlog, we spent in Seoul. So that's what you're gonna be watching today. I had the best time exploring with my mom, eating so much good Korean food, meeting new friends, and just exploring the city. For more real-time content, you can follow me on Instagram or TikTok at San Francisco. But yeah, this vlog is long overdue, so let's get into it. This restaurant has these self-serving stations with topoki, different soups, already included into the menu. And then if you want to refill on the banchans, you come here and you get it yourself. All the road is a new road, is all the new building, but here all the road is the same layout. Mm -hmm. That's why I recognize it. Yeah. Cool. I was living when I was seven, eight, like that. Eight, seven, eight, 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 eight. Officially in Gangnam, we are staying in this area for the rest of our trip. We just got, wait, what are, the, are they called? Tea carts? We just loaded up our cards for the bus and we're gonna, we're gonna give the subway a shot for the first time, or my first time at least. Let's try 
transfer, one bus. And then we made it. Now we're here at the little underground shopping center. Ooh. The fact that this is in a bus terminal blows my mind. What? Oh, oh my, oh my. So many ways to go. Oh, oh, wow. <gasps> Cute. Um, until Monday. Monday. So I've been here for already a week. Oh, okay. In Daegu and then Jeju Island. Oh, nice. and I just got to Seoul. Jeju Island. That's yeah. A perfect place to like visit. Okay. Okay. Cool. Picture. Yeah. Okay. Picture. One, two, three. One more. One, two, three. One, two, three. I'm gonna vlog if you don't mind. Sure. <laughs> Wait. What is this um, mall called? It's like Gosok Terminal. Express. 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 Terminal shopping mall. Okay. Okay, so my mom and I, we were making our way and I met someone who watches my videos. <laughs> Boa, right? So happy to see her in I, I can't believe person. you just like stopped me and recognized her. <laughs> it's so cool, but we were talking, yeah. chatting, and we took a picture, but yeah. so nice to meet you. <laughs> 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 Not my style. <laughs> So much honking. Beep! Beep! <laughs> has breakfast so I'm having a quick bite eggs potatoes bacon a little sliver of waffle cafe latte I'm meeting up someone who lives in Korea for a workout class later on today but I just wanted to grab a quick bite since we have breakfast included with our reservation thank you it's our first time having not Korean food a little American breakfast moment we love class which is like functional training my kind of class back from my little adventure today hung out with Yaren and it was so so cool getting to meet someone and just automatically have something in common both love fitness really booked a workout class together so easy we were at the Hanam location of F45 luckily they were instructing in English Yaren speaks Korean and English which is so freaking cool so she was able to translate every now and then when it was needed we worked out we went on this beautiful beautiful hike like literally the most stunning view when we got up to the lookout point I like my jaw dropped <laughs> and I would have never known about that spot if it wasn't for her 
Uh oh. Oh my god, you're joking. There's no way that I'm here right now. Biking along the Han River. Oh my god. Oh my days. This is this is glorious. Happy Saturday, Saturday. This morning I woke up pretty early and I actually had a workout class at 9.30. Had my first ever CrossFit sesh at Project Run here in Seoul. I probably already mentioned in this vlog earlier on that I'm also filming a week of workouts while I'm here. So if you wanna see like the actual workouts that I've been doing this week, you can check that video out. This vlog has been obviously just more of what I've been doing, what I've been eating, shopping, all the good stuff. I just got back to the hotel and I took the subway to and from my class this morning. I also picked up a bunch of skincare goodies. So many shops within all the subway stations and I saw this booth. I mean, there's literally face mask sales happening everywhere. But I finally got some because I'm gonna bring a ton back home for my sister, for my friends, and for myself because I just have to have them. This is only, this is half a stack. I'm gonna do one of these right now. Just a tea tree mask. These were also buy one get one free. So I picked up one for my sister and one for myself. Glitter liner basically. I wish I had this to wear last night because I did have a little outing with some friends. This is a free gift, so I will be using her. I love a good head wrap, headband. Headband. <laughs> oh my gosh. How cute! Not sure how much I've actually talked in this vlog and like really explained what I've been doing. More so just showing clips and whatnot. But obviously I've just been enjoying every moment here as this is my first time here in Korea. I only have today, tomorrow, and then I leave Monday night. So I'm gonna focus the rest of my trip on this vlog. But anyway, last night, Friday night, I ended up going out with some friends. So Yaren, who I went to F45 with on Thursday, Yaren has been so sweet and so helpful in just making sure that I get to experience Korea in the best way possible. So we ended up making plans to meet on Friday night, which was yesterday. We had a night outing, nothing crazy, no clubbing or whatever, but just cool bar scene. Popped around at a couple different places. Oh, this mask is serum e. So interesting to see the difference in nightlife culture here in Korea versus 
in the states i noticed there's a heavy focus on drinking while eating here which i kind of like it's very much a social thing that co-workers do that girlfriends do that couples do whatever and we went to two different places actually that we just got sat at a table they would bring you drinks you could order food it's ramen it's meat it's drunchy food food catered for those who are drinking it's great it's great dj playing good music pop hip-hop r&b new jeans it was a great time so thank you to yaren for taking me out introducing me to her friends and this morning i did crossfit with min who is also another follower of mine so fun getting to experience a new country but also meet people who watch my videos and have been following me Bruh. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. Good morning. Just got ready for the day. This is our last, I guess, technically the last full day. Tomorrow we leave, but our flight's at night, so I guess that kind of as a day but more of a half day anyway last full day slash night it was rainy for the past couple of days and today it was finally sunny so i decided to bust out one of the dresses that i brought floral maxi dress and then i put a little t-shirt underneath also did my makeup because why not why not for shoes i have on some new Balance 550s my first pair of them i actually picked them up yesterday at the mall which is crazy to think foot locker in korea just has them out. No need to buy them on StockX or whatever. Here they are. Beautiful off-white cream color. And then it's got green. And it matches the little leaves on my dress. So I picked these up at Foot Locker in Coex Mall. We were walking around pretty late at night. We got there at like 7.30, almost 8. We were able to walk around for almost two hours because the mall didn't close till 10. I also picked up one other pair. I got some Nikes. Literally obsessed with sneakers. <laughs> these also have a green accent more of an olive green. They're actually so comfy and this heel part is like cushiony. It's like Air Maxes almost. I've never seen this style before or this color. Honestly, I haven't done a whole lot of shopping other than this. I showed you guys I bought some skincare stuff, but a lot of that is for other people as well. Oh! <coughs> Oh, I didn't show you guys, but I went to the nail mall at one point. Literally this massive store, all full of nail supplies, nail decor, cute stickers, little decals, nail polishes, chrome powders, everything you can think of when it comes to doing your own nails. Yeah, I was in heaven because recently I started doing my own Gel X nails at home. I didn't have nails on this entire trip and I'm so excited to go back home and do my own nails with all the supplies that I got. But yeah, literally this entire baggie is full of good that I cannot wait. Cutest stickers, decor. I got some like cat eye nail polishes. Nail supplies was like the one thing that I really, really, really wanted to buy when I was in Korea. So I'm happy that I got to go to the nail mall. The Coex mall also had a Daiso, which we stopped into, and I just got more nail decals. My mom and I are doing some shopping today. We're actually back at the same mall that we were at a days ago. The terminal mall, the underground terminal mall, and then also Shinsege. I'm at this coffee shop right now because I really wanted coffee and then I also really want to try a croffle. I've been seeing them everywhere and it looks so good. My mom's at the grocery store area, so I'm letting her do that while I enjoy this.
currently on the bus on our way back to the hotel. We made one last stop. I went to a piercing shop that my friend actually recommended to me and it did not disappoint. I have been looking to replace my Rook piercing for the longest time because I've had my training piercing in for like four or five years or something. And it was like way too long. It was just a silver whatever metal ball one. But the one I have in right now is so freaking cute. I got to custom make it. Gold with little rhinestones literally perfect everything i've wanted i've tried looking in the states for it but it's just so hard to find root piercings and piercing shops and they're also very expensive but this one was cheap i got it for and i got two rook piercings for twenty four thousand one. so i have one in and then i have another one so if i ever wanted to swap out my piercings i could do that but i'm so happy we just got to our lunch spot we were able to walk here from our hotel we're gonna do barbecue I was craving some sort of meat. So, the episode. from eating hot Cheetos. I kind of have that, but from the raw marinated crab. Got a little something for my sweet tooth. Um, can you help me? Take the cover off. I don't wanna break it. Thank you. 7-Eleven, soft serve. My first convenience store soft serve. Let's see how it is. Oh. It's pretty solid. Mmm. 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 Mm. Mm -hmm. Exercise. Yes. <laughs> I'm a broken escalator. Exercise. Exercise with adjustment. Exercise. <laughs> breakfast has been hitting every day. Today we went for a classic American breakfast spread. I got an omelet with a little mushroom salad on the side, some pesto pasta. I love food. Time has come. We're starting to pack our bags because we are indeed leaving today. That two weeks just went by so quickly. I mean, it definitely felt like we were here for a long time, but the fact that we're now leaving is just crazy. We did request a late checkout, so it's already almost 1 p.m., which is nice. We haven't been like rushing to get out of here or anything. Our flight is not until 8.50 tonight. We do have a lot of time to kill, but we are gonna go to a sauna, which we haven't done this trip yet. And that's definitely one of the things I've been wanting to do in Korea. The saunas here are next level. They've got tons of different rooms and lots of things to do and places to hang out, chill, eat, whatever, blah, blah, blah. We're gonna leave our bags here. Just take the tote bag of stuff with Bye us. Volunteer. I did a workout this morning at the hotel gym and I haven't showered yet, so I'm ready to just cleanse myself, relax, take a nap, you know? But yeah, I'm sad to be leaving. Goodbye. You were good to us. Great location. 10 out of 10. I'm going to Feels like daydreaming, no I sit down, man. I love my life, sad I change it, man. I chumble. The chemistry is a no with the two. I'm good all set down, my dad, and I'm getting done. No need much, child, don't get soon done. Sing a good one, you ain't. Would it do so? You tell a page. I 
아직도 날 찾고 있어 Y'all, and that is a wrap on this vlog. Oh, the memes going through all the footage from when I was in Korea makes me miss it so much. I would definitely like to go back in the next year or two. <laughs> Our family doesn't really do international trips, so this is pretty much my first international trip with one of my family members. So it was a really special one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and if you did, please be sure to give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you guys so so much for watching. That is it for this video. I will see you guys in the next one.